Hey, my name is Jamie Aaron, and today I'm gonna to show you a really cool set of Chick Corea blues changes. These changes come from a Chick Corea tune called Blue Miles from his 1993 record, Paint the World, with Chick Corea Electric Band 2. The tune has a great road solo by Chick, Eric Marienthal on sax, and Mike Miller plays a burning guitar solo on it, so I recommend you check it out. This is a really great set of blues changes that Chick wrote. It's a really cool substitution and a way to get back to the one chord in the last four bars of the blues. You can superimpose it over regular blues changes or make it a tune within itself. Either way, they're super fun. So let me show you what happens. <laughs> In a standard 12 bar blues, we'd go to the five chord in bar nine, four chord in bar 10, one chord in bar 11, and the five chord again in bar 12, which takes us back home, back to the top of the form. But here's what Chick does in this tune. In bar nine, we go to the five chord, just like normal. Then we go down a whole step or two frets to the four chord in bar 10, just like a normal blues. But here's where it gets interesting. We go down another whole step to A flat, or the flat three chord in bar 11. Then we go down another whole step, or another two frets, to G flat in bar 12. And that takes us back home. So here's how it sounds in the context of the blues. So our ear goes on this cool little journey where everything moves down in whole steps. Five chord as usual, C7, down a whole step or two frets. Four chord as usual, nothing new here. You get this A flat chord, which all of a sudden our ear starts to take interest and say, what's that? That's happening in bar 11, bar 12, we get this flat two chord, G flat seven, and then back to one. So the reason that G flat chord sounds so cool Leading us back to one is because of a concept called tritone substitution. And here's a real quick explanation of that is. So a C7 chord, our root is C, our third is E, our flat seven is B flat. So if we take out the root, we get these two notes, E and B flat. The E is the third of C, the B flat is the flat at seven. Now if we play a G flat seven chord, and we take out the root, we have those same two notes, but now the E is the flat seven of G flat, and the B flat is the third. So if we just have the thirds and sevenths and the root, C seven, G flat seven, those two chords are related, and using something called tritone substitution, you can substitute any dominant chord for another dominant chord, a flatted fifth, or a tritone away. C seven to F, G flat seven to F. They're pretty much interchangeable. So then to enhance this progression even further and make it sound very Chick Corea and of the era that this music came from, we're gonna take these dominant seven chords descending in whole steps in the blues and make them sus 13 chords. So here's our C sus 13, C, B flat, F, and A natural, the root, the flat at seven, the fourth, the suspended note, and the 13. A. Then we'll take that down a whole step. There's B flat sus 13, A flat sus 13, G flat sus 13, and just back into F7 or F13. So here's how that sounds in the blues. can see what I did there. I went C sus 13, B flat sus 13, A flat sus 13, and then I did two beats of G flat sus 13 that I then morphed into a G flat 13, which 
If we change the root with the tritone sub, we'd have a C7 sharp nine. Same three top notes. So I just did a little switch from the sus 13 to a regular 13, and then I just slide that regular 13 to F 13. So those are the really cool changes. So what do you play over them? Well, one option is to play the Mixolydian scale through each of those chords. So you'd play C Mixolydian over the C7 or the C sus, B flat Mixolydian, A flat Mixolydian, G flat Mixolydian, and then F Mixolydian over the F. That sounds like this. So those Mixolydian scales are the scales that fit with dominant chords. They spell out the sound of a dominant seven chord. So another option we could use, triad pairs. I did a video on triad pairs recently. If you wanna see that, click the link below. So here is the sound of the triad pairs. So for C7, we're gonna do a C triad and a B flat triad. For B flat, we're gonna do a B flat triad and an A flat triad. For A flat, we'll do an A flat triad and a G flat triad. And for G flat, we'll do a G flat triad and an E triad. Sounds something like this. And I just slide from that final triad up into an F7 triad. So one other option is to play the Dorian scale that fits along with each dominant chord. So over a C7, that's the five chord of the key of F. So the related Dorian scale would be G Dorian or G minor. Same notes, G Dorian, C Mixolydian, same notes. But by thinking Dorian and starting on maybe a G or a B flat, that takes me out of the dominant chord mindset and I can hit some more of those sus tones. So here I'm gonna play G Dorian over the C7, F Dorian over the B flat seven, E flat Dorian, over the A flat seven and D flat Dorian over the G flat seven. Thank you for watching this video, a tribute to the late great Chick Corea. Chick's a big inspiration. I hope you got something out of this lesson. You can take these changes and superimpose them over a typical blues, you can play these lines over a normal one, four, five blues and imply the sound, or you can play a blues with these changes. Either way, I think they're a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video, comment below, and subscribe. I put out lesson videos every week, so you don't wanna miss any. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.